Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be regarding the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How are they viewing you or this connection? What are their feelings towards you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're going to look at all of that today. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides for Capricorn. For Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect? When it comes to love or what is coming towards Capricorn in love or what is coming towards Capricorn in love heart to heart conversations religious factors okay so I feel like there's an important conversation that needs to take place obviously but I think it's going to be in like in divine timing or like it's going to be guided in some way we'll see tell me more spirit who or what is coming towards capricorn in love what can capricorn expect in love who or what is coming towards capricorn in love King of Pentacles, King of Wands. Page of Swords. Yeah, there's an important conversation that will be had. Possibly between you and a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but I do have fire and earth here. Let's see. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this King of Pentacles? The Empress. What do we need to know about this King of Pentacles? Eight of Swords. Five of Wands. So this is somebody that's having an internal battle within themselves or some sort of, um, like they're overthinking a situation. Not sure what to do, how to go about it, how to fix it, how to address this drama, this conflict. This is someone that's like frozen. What's this Five of Wands about? There's the five of wands here. The chariot, cancer energy. I feel like someone wants to move away from this. But the hangman's here at the bottom of the deck, but they haven't. Oh, death, Scorpio energy. It, it will require an ending of some sort. That's why I feel someone is having an internal battle. Maybe they're trying to decide whether they should end something for good. Or if they need to change something drastically in their life, go through some sort of change. But why the Empress? Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? The Empress here. The higher font, Taurus energy. Okay, so this could be a marriage for a lot of you or a long-term commitment, whether this is you or your person. Um, you're dealing with um, a long-term partner the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Devil, Capricorn energy, there you are. Someone's thinking about this a lot. Like, I, I, I'm picking up that someone's, like, going back and forth and back and forth and thinking about what to do about this situation. And they ha I don't think they've made a decision because the Hangman came up. Despite the fact that they already know, I think, what they want to do with the Chariot. They want to move on, move past this. Okay, so what about this King of Wands? 
<clears throat> what about the King of Wands? It's the King of Wands. Right here. Seven of Cups. Why is the King of Wands here? Seven of Swords. Hmm. Every time I see the Seven of Cups with the Seven of Swords, I think wrong choice. <clears throat> Someone chose the wrong cup or is trying to go about things on the easy way. They're trying to find the easy way out, the quickest way or the most sneaky way in this decision. What's this decision about? Tell me about the Two of Wands. What is this Two of Wands about? Nine of Swords. What's this decision about? What can you tell me about this Two of Wands? Five of Pentacles. Well, I can tell you someone's worried. Stress. Yep. And there's a Two of Pentacles. Someone doesn't know what they want. I mean, and it's weird because I feel like someone knows what they want. They just aren't prepared yet to make the, the decision. Why do I keep getting these messages for the signs? I feel like everybody's kind of in the same boat, dealing with someone indecisive. And you, Capricorn, specifically, had a reading um, a few weeks back where this person could not make up their mind. I feel like this is the same energy. If this resonates for you, then check out that reading. It's going to be in your playlist. Now, this is somebody that just, you know, I feel like what they want, they truly can't have. But they're going to try anyway. And what I mean by that is almost like this is probably someone that once they make this choice, they don't want to have any problems, any consequences, any fallout from that decision. And that's just not real life. Every decision comes with consequences, good or bad. And I feel like someone's trying to circumvent or like go around an obstacle in the easy way, right? Rather than just deal with it head on. And I feel like it's going to get them in trouble. Tell me about the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Can I get one more, please? For the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Okay, because they're being greedy. This person's being greedy or thinking selfishly. They want what they want, period. And it's like, okay, fine. Then, you know, if that's how you're going to go about it, prepare for the consequences because they're coming you know this is not something i feel like this person is trying to avoid something that they cannot avoid i don't know what this is in relate in related to i think it has to do with being open and honest about something um and maybe they don't want to be open and honest because that could cost them something there's a tower just wanted to come out of the deck for funsies tell me about the page of swords I feel like this is what they're trying to avoid, a tower. And towers are kind of, you can't really avoid a tower. <laughs> you can delay it, but it's eventually going to happen. Because I feel like spirit guides towers or, or allows towers to happen for a reason. Tell me about this page of swords. Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Swords. King of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Three of Cups. Three of Wands. Wow. Um, four of Swords and the Moon. This is something that someone has kept to themselves. Pisces energy with the moon. Someone's held back this information or held back how they feel about something. This is about something, someone that's been very quiet, but I think on purpose. This person may have hidden a third party. This person may have hidden the truth about another person, or um, they're trying to not tell you something so that they can like save time here or delay something. Tell me about the King of Swords. Five of Cups. Oh, man. I feel like this person knows telling the truth is going to bring about a loss. 
they're afraid of regretting this truth telling and there's the hangman yep and so because they're afraid they are hesitant on being open being honest because it's it's gonna cost them something Maybe they're just delaying this, waiting for the right time. I got one more for the King of Swords. The moon. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I feel like this person's going to keep this to themselves. There's the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. I think they're going to still keep this secret. Okay, so what can you expect, Capricorn? What's next for Capricorn and love? What's next for Capricorn in love? It could be that a tower is on its way for this person. What's next for Capricorn in love? Nine of Cups. What's next for Capricorn in love? Spirit, what's next for Capricorn in love? Queen of Swords. So I feel like someone eventually will... Oh, no, nah, I was going to say. <laughs> I feel like someone eventually will speak up. And then I see the hangman at the bottom of the deck. Two of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. I mean, hopefully somebody finds their courage here. To speak up. But why the Nine of Cups? Tell me about the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Why the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords? When I saw this Nine of Cups, I thought someone's very proud of themselves or happy with themselves. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, okay, so Ten of Wands, Four of Swords. I feel like this is someone that's, oh, why am I getting this? Okay. This is going to be a very specific message. It's, it's not going to resonate with everyone, but it just hit me. There's an investigator among you. <laughs> One of you watching this reading, or several of you, you're like the FBI. You already knew what this person is not telling you. You're just waiting for them to be honest with you because you just want confirmation. And I feel like this person has no idea what you know. Yep. Tell me about the lovers and temperance. And you know what I'm seeing here? I'm seeing eight of pentacles. I'm seeing with this death card, when I put it down, I was like, this is going to end no matter what. There's going to be a change, an ending for, for whoever's trying to block this. It's still going to happen. Um, they can try as hard as they want to not tell you something or not be honest about something, but it's going to come out eventually. And when it does, I feel like they're going to try to fix it. They're going to try to put an effort to fix it, to maybe save face or save this connection. Of course, it's going to be up to the other person. They might communicate. And it's funny because the lovers and the temperance card both have angels there. So I feel like spirit is involved here. Yeah, they're going to try to fix it. There's the devil at the bottom of the deck, the two of cups. Yeah. I feel like this has to, it's, it's like they want success with you, but I feel like they, they didn't make the right choice with you, if you know what I mean. It's almost like you would have forgiven this person if they had just been honest with you from the beginning. Or you would have been okay if, if this hadn't grown to such an extent, you know, if you hadn't been kept in the dark on purpose. Um, I feel like you would have maybe been okay with this. This is just a very specific reading, so I'm sorry if this isn't resonating for all of you, but 
If it is resonating, please let me know in the comments <laughs> because I feel like this message is for someone out there that has been dealing with a person who you can kind of figure that something's off, but you don't know for sure. And I feel like you're going to find out. The Queen of Swords finds things out. She gets to the bottom of things. She's able to see and read between the lines, you know? So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Um, I hope this resonated for you. If it did, please leave a comment below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading and want to see more from me. And I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.